Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be using these water dice from Dispel Dice that I got from their recent Kickstarter. Let's get it going. Roll for bread. Four, rye bread. Uh, today's random bread fact, rye is short for Ryan. All right, let's roll for our main. Ten, bologna. All right, I'll take bologna. Nothing to complain about. There are definitely worse options I could have landed on. I'll take it. Next up, let's roll for cheese. One, strawberry cream cheese. All right, interesting. I like this stuff on a nice plain bagel, but I've never used it on a sandwich. It's still pretty savory though, just with a light strawberry taste, a little tartness and a little sweetness. So it might not be that bad. And bologna mostly just tastes like salt and fat. So probably best case scenario for the strawberry cream cheese. Next up, let's roll our roughage. Six avocado and eight raw garlic. All right, let's get into our free shavakadu here. Again, I think so far we're doing okay. Avocado is mostly savory and just more fat. Its creaminess will pair nicely with the cream cheese. I can get on board with this so far. The garlic is a little bit more of a stretch. I wouldn't necessarily think to pair garlic with strawberry, but who knows, I might be surprised. I don't know, I've still got hope for this one. With the right wild magic and sauce, maybe it'll pull together. I guess we'll see. Next up, let's roll our wild magic. 15, glitter. All right, so what I have here is called luster dust. It's an edible powder that uh, is what makes this potion look so magical. And I guess what we're gonna do is sprinkle some of this onto our sandwich and make it sparkle. I've heard it said that we eat with our eyes first. Yummy. Last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. 16, garlic habanero. The universe has proclaimed more garlic. I like this sauce despite being habanero based. It's not incredibly spicy and it does have a good garlic kick to it. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together and let's get it cut in half. Now let's take a look at that cross section. All right, I've seen worse. Well, from Monday's episode, this seems pretty tame, but I guess we won't know until we taste it. Here goes. That is a lot of garlic and spicier than I thought it would be. The strawberry doesn't come through a lot. It does add a little bit of a tanginess. It's actually not that bad. Honestly, with some adjustments, this could be a pretty decent sandwich. After last week's paste debacle, I will take extra garlic any day. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7.1 and I'm gonna call it the Van Helsing. Have a great day and I'll see you Wednesday.